distraction is there are many people who have to concentrate on working, on keeping a job, on feeding the children, on preventing the house from falling down, caring for ill relatives, and all the other needs of daily existence. And family crises and even happy events can monopolize attention and energy. And this is true even of people who are affluent, who are not unemployed and poor and trying to scrape out a living. There are those distractions. I'm not saying they shouldn't be concerned about those things. I'm just trying to find the reasons. I'm not making a judgment. Then there are the more obvious distractions, like alcohol, drugs, sports, TV, celebrities, internet surfing, video games, pornography, <coughs> horrible crimes, earthquakes. Then there's another thing that I'm, I'm just guessing at. There's an incredible use in this country, it's happening all over the world, of anti-depression drugs. And they may create political serenity also. I have been looking for this evidence. I've been consulting with many people who are experts on this subject, and they don't have any hard data on it. But it may be that nothing bothers the people who are taking these drugs. <laughs> you know, it's possible. Yeah. Yeah. You know? and, and again, of course, yeah, all right. And then even noble distractions can blot out ugly realities. Make love, not war is a fine principle. But some people get so embroiled that they don't make anti-war, while others make love and war. We have some. <laughs> Recent examples of that. <laughs> <laughs> then, again, meditation and hobbies are very good for clearing the mind, but maybe they clear too much. <laughs> and I also think about the words of Jean Jacques Rousseau, one of my favorite quotations from his discourse on the arts and sciences. This is his first discourse. He changes views later in life the first discourse I love. Um, he says, science, literature, and the arts spread flowery garlands over the iron chains of law, inducing consent without obvious coercion. Thus, all memory of their natural birthright liberty is stifled. They come to love their enslavement, and they are transformed into a law-abiding populace. Need created the powers that be. The arts and sciences fortified them. Great nations love talents and reward those who cultivate them. So this makes me think of how rare it is these days, or even earlier, for artists invited to White House dinners to refuse to come, or if they do show up, to speak out once they're there. Eartha Kitt was ostracized for speaking to Lady Bird Johnson against the Vietnam War in 1968. And it was such a rare occasion that it was, it was huge news. Nobody else would dare to do something like that. In the middle of all of these horrible wars, all kinds of artists and performers are invited to the White House, very nice. Now, another kind of distraction, I believe that it's important, very important, to protect our health by growing our own food or seeking out local organic food, helping farmers to grow it, keeping our homes free of harmful chemicals, recycling waste, walking to work. But after all this, is there time left to pay attention to the environmental and human destruction resulting from wars? from the development, production, testing, and transportation of weapons, from war games on land, sea, and air, from the militarization of space, and from the occupation of military bases. People who say who are environmentalists are also are often concentrating on one thing and, and forget about all those other things which have enormous environmental impact. 
Volunteer work is another distraction. Not that it's bad, at best it's a humanistic response to the misery around us, but it can also crowd out attempts to change those institutions that are causing misery. The great wave of service learning in universities was a response to the radical activism of the 1970s, following policy suggestions of the Carnegie Foundation for the Advancement of Teaching. It was designed to be a diversion from attempts to change the system. Students in the 60s, 70s, had been very politically active. They wanted to change the system. They said the system was the problem. Then, all of a sudden, there's a service learning requirement. You have to go into the inner cities and tutor and have soup kitchens. That's all good, but it leaves alone a system that's causing all the misery. Now, interests. Interests encourage some people to cheer on war. Obviously, there are many people who have an interest in promoting war, and unfortunately, the press has always had an interest in promoting war. It's very good for the sale of newspapers. And, and then there are lots of people now who have military status. Lots of people are active, military, reserve, retired military, veterans, or they're civilian contractors, or they're base workers. And this is true all over the world now. Many countries have strong military establishments, often with US help. Y Europe has a huge military industrial complex right now. Yeah, very important. 